right, let's just start. Um, um, um. Oh, what's going on, guys? Kaiser's here, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, if you haven't seen the last episode we did, we took down the second frenzied lord. Or lady, if you will. It was the Lady of the Ridge who was the Lilligant. We calmed her down, and now we are ready to report back to the Galactic Survey HQ and report that she is a lot better. And before we do that, we're going to do a couple of little things. You know, catch some Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. And then we will continue on with our adventure. So I hope you guys are ready for the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Crow are here, so I'm going to stay in this area until it's nighttime and see if we can catch ourselves a little Murkrow for the team. And I also saw that we have to, um, because I was just curious, what I did was looked up on how to get a dust stone for Murkrow to become Honchcrow. And we gotta find 30 of those little spirits who wisp things, so I might do that off camera, I might do it on here, I don't know yet. We're just gonna see how it happens. Anyway, let's just explore around and see what we can find until it's nighttime. Oh, and that reminds me, I also saw that in order to get um, a cleaver, there's like these little evolutionary items that uh, Graveler drops. And in order to get cleaver, we gotta kill one of those guys and see if we can find the item. So hopefully in this episode we'll be able to find one of those things, and Ursaluna is pretty tricky too. It's going to take a lot of effort before we can, um, get the big boys. Oh! No way. No way we just picked that up. On the first... No, hang on. <laughs> that is actually what we need to get Ursaring into Ursaluna. We literally picked up the evolution item on the first freaking try, dude. How? <laughs> Someone told me that the Murkrows here don't play around. One spots you, the whole mob of them comes after you. And another thing with Ursaluna is that we have to wait until that is a full moon. So every time it's nighttime, we gotta look and keep an eye on that thing. <gasps> there he is! Murkrow! Yes! What is up, little buddy? Oh, the boy. Or the girl. Oh, that throw! <gasps> Did you all see that? Oh, that was so far away. <laughs> well, it's actually a good thing to Sidewise dead, because... You don't want to get him too, too overleveled. Now let's finish it off with Play Rough. There we go. I'm sorry, Hunch Crow, my boy. Oh my god, look at them all. I'm in heaven, dude. <laughs> my favorite uh, flying type, and they're all around me. Running low on Pokeballs here, so it would be nice if you can get into the ball, please. Oh my goodness! Please. You're weak enough. Just get into the ball. Thank you. Good lord. Leroy! Oh! <gasps> Is that? Oh my god! Oh, I'm drowning. Turtwig are here? No way! On, please. Yes, yes, yes! Oh! It's the boy! Oh, I'm actually getting teary-eyed, dude. I didn't think you were in this. Aww. Alright, you both are coming with me. That's what's up, dude. Let's fucking go. Oh, I was not expecting my favorite starter to be in this. I mean, it makes sense with the, um, 
how they all talk about Almighty Sinnoh and whatnot. And how there's like other Sinnoh Pokemon like Honchkrow, Roserade and stuff, but oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh shit, look at all of this. Oh, and we could get Duskstone here. Oh, we might not even have to go looking for all those Spear Tomb Wisps. Awesome. Now, this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all with off a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? Dang, she's having like an existential crisis. Ah, oh, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna have a little crisis, and then you're like, oh, here's a new recipe for you. M Mr. Kamado, sir, er, so about that whole Ursaluna er situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Irizu. Aww. Adorable. And you, Kaisers, you will come with me. To Prelude Beach. Oh, wait. Prelude Beach is the starting area. Is everything okay? These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. Where the hell did y'all even come from? Gonna tell us a little story about when you first got here or something or what? The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded these areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Kaisers, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? Oh yeah, we do. A lot. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Oh god, is this like foreshadowing or something? So I wonder if he's like foreshadowing something where some traumatic event is about to happen in the game. And he's gonna be like, well, all these Pokemon gotta go. And I hope that's not the case, because I'll be very sad. Your next orders are to begin the Survey Corps in the Cobalt Coastlands. Let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Now we have reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island, so it's a coastal place with a lot of water type, huh? Ooh. It's a big lake. Hmm. Is that a crashed ship in the background? Do you see that? Might need to investigate that over there. As the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. I do love the flute. It feels as if the tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Oh! Okay. Um, sure, we're game. Very good, you have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. Alright. Hopefully she doesn't have Glaceon out first. Uh, Murkrow, you cannot take this guy. You're gonna get... It's a double battle! Where did this wild Eevee come from? <laughs> you see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Palina, She's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We're both in the running to become the leader of the Pearl Clan. Oh. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. 
Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into her true heir to his father, the late Lord. Of course. Ooh, some Glam Meow. And you know what that means. New area, time to see what we can find out here. So why don't we make our way towards the bottom here. Grab this lost satchel. That way we can, um, see what the rewards are for cl uh, completing stuff like that. Oh, you want a tango, buddy? Oh my god. Did y'all see that? There was an alpha wall right out there. Wait. Don't tell me it's on the other side. It was on the other side of the rocks. Oh my god. We went the entirely different route! Uh, ha, ha. We got a rank up. Sweet. Let's return to the village, get our new rank, and then we will be back out there. Yay! Alright, this four star. Leaden Balls. Pokemon up to 50 will obey you. That's really good. This is looking a little spooky. But cool. <gasps> no way! He's here too? My boy Dust Call, dude. No way! I'm getting all of my favorites. First Murkrow. Then came... Turtwig, and now does call. And we got a Firestone? Talking Pokemon, help me, help me, help me. Oh yeah, because it mimics them. S stay away. Away. Stay. Wah! Why is this Pokemon talking? That's its ability. It's able to mimic someone. Talk? Talk? Have it fun, are we? No, the opposite. Help me. <laughs> help me. Well, that's cool. Another base camp. Sweet. What? You cheating bastard! I didn't even see you! It was just invisible! He just smacks me in my face. Perish. The rock! <laughs> you see that? It's like all zoomed in. Oh, jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Alright, Floatzel, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There was a tent up here, I didn't even see that. Some of us live in here. Maybe we'll meet them... Yeah. This is probably that one. Did it just jump into the tree? Look at him, he's just chilling. So one second, and... Yes, there we go. Alright. Can't do an agile style triple arrows yet. But we can't do a triple arrows in general, because it should be. Um Yep, defensive stats lowered. Yep, to stun to move. And then Leaf Blade. This should do a lot. Yep. And we got a crit. Hell yeah. Hello little Sveal. Are you friendly? Hey there, little dude. How are ya? Oop, sorry, didn't mean to spook you. Look at him go. <laughs> it's cool how they move around like that. They just tuck in their little flippers and tail and then they just start rolling. Hey, little guy. <laughs> That scared me so badly. Oh my god, I actually jumped in my chair, dude. What the fuck? Oh, well, that's our first space-time distortion. Whoa, okay. So what happens in here? Another one? Or... Whoa, what is happening? Magnemite, okay. Stardust. There's so much stuff on the ground, I don't know what to grab. Oh god! Woo! 
Magneton? What is that? What is happening? A dubious disc, okay. Oh, this is creepy! Oh, good lord! <gasps> Alright, let's just start. Um, um, um. Oh my god! <gasps> A freaking Rhyperior? That is so horrifying, dude. What the hell? Is it disappearing? Yeah. Those are cool, dude. But oh my god, that is horrifying. Alright, so I'm gonna do a temporary off-camera stuff for a bit. Just because. I just want to go around and grab some, uh lost satchels and whatnot in the past um areas so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that real quick and then we will be right back here so see y'all in a bit all right we're back so all i really did was go around and grab those satchels like i said i was gonna do and pretty much just a little bit explored some places here and there saw some new alphas i saw alpha blissey that obliterated Decidui with a strong style hyper beam, <laughs> and a um, Alpha Alakazam, and a bunch of other things. I also saw a Chimchar that ran away. And there was also one other thing that I managed to find. Let me show you all over here. Ta da! Managed to find a shiny Drifloon. The second I turn off the camera, but maybe like five minutes afterwards managed to find this little dude. So that is our third shiny that we have next to Bidoof and the Staravia. And I got enough satchels to where we're just a couple hundred off from getting a dust uh, stone because that's the one that's we're closest to. So we're going to try to get a um, Hans Crow first before we get dust nor. And with that, we're ready to continue. So let us head back to the Cobalt Coastlands. It's crazy that at one point, I said that it was going to be... It was a long time since I've managed to find a uh, shiny. And yet, so far, I found three of them in this series. <laughs> what the hell was that? Something's over here. Ooh. An alpha octillery. Wouldn't hurt to try. Oh my god, that dust talk scared me! <gasps> oh my god, I hate that! Why? Hey! It's the Hisuian Growlithe! And you must be the one we're looking for. One on the right is pretty big. Hey there. Hush now, settle down. Hi there. Paulina, that was her name. And who might you be? Ah, uh, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligan when no other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea in it. Oh, their lord was an Arcanine? Aww. Poor little dudes. If you were to guess which of the Growlithe would you say is the previous lord's child? Well, knowing a lord, they're probably pretty huge, so the big one? That's what everyone says at first, but no. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. Wow! I've no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pro Clan says, my mind is quite made up. 
I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm trying to go to Fire Spit Island, I guess. A survey of Fire Spit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. That's who I thought the Lord was gonna be at first. I didn't think it would be Arcanine. Because I knew that Basque Legion was in the game. I didn't... I haven't seen Hisuian Arcanine yet. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spin Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky, so something is over there. Enraged. This kin lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you find him there. Oh, that must have been the house that we saw, where no one was empty. Wow. Poor little guy. I mean, you can't blame people for thinking that the big one would be the Lord, or the son of the Lord, but it turns out it's just a little small guy. It was swallowed by the waves, it said. So, he still could be out there, so what I'm thinking is that if he's still alive, he might be out on Fire Spit Island causing some problems. Yes, a dust stone. Awesome, and they don't run out, so you can get as many as you want. Sweet. Alrighty, it's time, boys. Second favorite. Yes! Punch Crow the boy! Let's go. Hell yeah. Looking good, big guy. Very, very fancy. I wish I was able to, like, my trainer would be able to, like, stick his arm out so he could, like, rest on his shoulder or whatever, you know? That'd be really cool. Do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Hello there. So, um... I am Iskin of the Diamond Clan. A Galaxy team member with a Celestica flute. Oh, you must be Kaisers, right? H have I done something to warrant your visit? Uh, yes, but it's not a bad thing. So, just relax, buddy. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me an advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? We need Basque Legion's aid. So you, you want to go to Firespit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should be... Or that should help... Help him warm up to you. I was about to say, I thought I had a stroke for a second, but no, but that should help help him... Warm up to you. But preparing his favorite... Oh... It's, um, more than a little difficult, more like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. Impossible, you say? How's that? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see, the next part is something I can never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. That being... You really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's d d d d dust dust Oh! Three... Two... <laughs> Wah, no, it's too frightening. Come on, man, we have a mission to hear! Come on, man, try again. Right, so, so counting down, it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go! A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. A 
Ball of Basque Legion food. Favorite food of Basque Legion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. The food is crafted in an unusual way, from ingredients gathered via equally unusual methods. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Now let us make for Ginkgo Landing, where we can summon Basque Legion there. Alright. How funny that we have to find the one Pokemon that scares him the most when it's actually my favorite ghost type. Where's Basque Legion? Hello, Iskin. Hello? Oh! Paulina! I, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure... Wait. Both and I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet with the Great Basque Legion again. I, I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. I know what Basculesian looks like. There he is. He is actually a really cool looking Pokemon. Go on, Kaisers, you can give the food to Basculesian now. Through the ball and Basque Legion food. Oh! Shrong! The great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, uh, Kaisers, you should let Basque Legion hear your playing. Well, looking at our trainer and Basque Legion. Are we able to, like, fit on him? Or are we a little too big for him? Basculation has opened his heart and learned the sound of your playing. We got the splash plate. Sweet! Now we got the one for water type. Are these two... together? Now you can ride Basculation across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island, because... Iskin said, are you sure... We're not supposed to be seen together, so are, do they love each other? My congratulations to you, Kaisers. Helena, <coughs> do you want to tell them? I think they're together. I mentioned to you before how the previous lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskin and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I fe felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. Aww, lovebirds, haha. <laughs> but I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back, so I try to meet with Iskin where there are no uh, prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I save you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe and he is, and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskin. Ah, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. I don't know why, but just that... Oh. I bring good luck to my sister wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone across our path, blah blah blah. But I was gonna say, I don't know what the deal is, but designs where an object or hair covers the person's eyes so where you can't see them, it's just the nose and the mouth is always funny to me, and I don't know why. Yes, we know your freaking introductions. Why are you free here? You're really trying to steal Growlithe. We literally have six Pokemon strong enough to take out all three of y'all, so please leave. The aim is to pester us with bad jokes. Those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough, yeah. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Oh, so what's... No! No! They took the big one! No! Growlithe! 
sons of bitches. Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. I was gonna say it's, um, wasn't her name Agatha, the one with ghost type? So that's what your descendant, er, ascendant is. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of History, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Wait. Wait a second. Are they going to take him to Fire Spit Island, train that thing to become an Arcanine, and then the Arcanine is going to fight us? Oh, that's going to be something else if that's the case. Oh, look how sad the Growlithe looks, dude! No! We'll get him back, we promise. You should also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water surface, then jump once again in the air to go even higher. Oh, so it's like a double jump. Sweet! Oh, okay. Alright. Wow, pretty nifty. Alright, Basque Legion. Let's go save a Growlithe. Oh, that's cool. That's where the ghost part kicks in. That's sick. So, I wonder if this is where we fight the Lord. I really hope it's not the Growlithe that they persuaded. That's gonna be really upsetting. I feel like this is definitely where we're gonna be- <gasps> Magmar?! Oh, no shot, dude. Let's freaking go! Magmar is, like, rivaling, uh... Charizard is my favorite fire-type Pokemon. Oh my god, I would love to have a Magmortar on the team. Yes, dude! Well, why don't we have Ursaring lead the pack? Because he has, um, high horsepower. Second hit. Ursaring, you're on fire! <laughs> Ursaring is dancing with death, dude! Look at him! Oh my god, man, you gotta get out of there! He's like, Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> He's just gonna freaking stand in the fire. Oh my god. It is an Arcanine. No, dude. They're gonna make... You motherfuckers are going to make him an Arcanine? Oh my god. Oh, and if we're fighting an Arcanine... Oh, the platform is gonna suck! Ah, oh, jeez. This is uh, this might actually be the worst one. Oh, this is gonna be very bad. Well, if we're dealing with the Gengar first, might as well have Honchkrow lead the pack. Come on, evolve already. We've done our homework. Any Pokemon gutsy enough to become this Lava Trap is supposed to evolve, so get on with it already. You will become stronger, like it or not. Growl? Hey, you leave him alone, you bastards. Oh, look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters. I'll take care of him. Go, Obama Snow. Smash this fool to pieces. Oh, well, it's not even... Um, Gengar. Looks like we're dealing with an Obama Snow. Bastards are gonna pay for kidnapping this poor little puppy. Level 35, please. Yes, quit wasting our time. And give us back that Growlithe. I don't get it. How do I lose? Because you're like, what? Five levels lower? Maybe even more? You know Obama Snow can't fight at full power in crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. We're basically going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make poor Obama Snow battle in such a stupidly hot place? You decided that! You could have let coin or freaking charm do it, but you're like, stand back, sisters, I've got this. <laughs> Come on, you stupid. <laughs> yes! Thank you. Go on then, Toxicroak. Pour some poison for our unwelcome guest. 
Conch Crow is literally going to kill every single one of you. You're literally just denying, delaying the inevitable here. Come on, Honch Crow, you can do this. Flash him away the air slash. Oh, well. Of course. Of course it misses. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. Alright, Scyther, your time to shine. Let's do an aerial ace. There we go. Battle decided, yada yada yada. I hope he can heal our Pokemon. Um, Iskin or whatever. I did warn you, I had to score to settle with the Galaxy team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Cantor region to work, I'm going to make you pay for er, every last slight. Oh, and she's got two Pokemon. Rhydon. Okay. And Notch Pro did not heal. Sweet. Alright, well, let's... Let's use a revive. Hopefully Toxic Crow can take a hit. Please take a hit. Agile style, what's it using? Ouch. That's stupid, but okay. Um let's send in Decidueye so he can tank. Some hits. Revive. We're actually running low on revives. Oh god. We gotta get more. And then Leaf Blade. There you go. And what's next? Yeah, get there. There we go. Venice Shock. Yep, that's gonna hurt like hell. Just attack twice, I guess. Let's go... Let's go to Dusclops. Dusclops can take a hit. And of course it uses Hypnosis. Why wouldn't it? Agile Style Shadow Sneak. should do the trick. Yep, there we go. Nice. And battle decided. What a disgrace. Yeah, you're a huge disgrace. Uh, how could all of us have been... Hey, Charm, I healed up a bomb of snow and coins Toxic Crow. Good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. It's the Lord's son! He is here! What? Hey, no one invited you, Tiny! You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt? Growl! Take him down, Toxicroak. No! I know it's hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow. Smash that runt! No! Ralith, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. P Paulina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. God damn, Growlithe! What the hell? He is... He is a strong little puppy. If y'all don't know, Growlithe in this game is fire and rock. So four times weak to water, he said, I'm still gonna come over here. Wow. I called it. His dad never died. 
Bow Wow! His dad never died! He's evolving! Oh, he looks so cool! Looks like he finally found his courage. That late lord's child, he evolved! His true bravery lay not in the crossing sea, but in finding the strength to face the hardship head on. You gotta be joking me, why did the puny one evolve? Uh, sister, something's not right. No, not the little puppy! No! Arcanine! Oh, God! He's frenzied now! That's actually worse! What? Paulina, stay back! Arrgh. So is his actual father dead, or is that, like, him calling out to him from behind the stars? Oh, what's happened to him? That strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied, just like the other nobles. Oh, this is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. Oh god, he's gonna kill those three. Uh, everything was going just as we wanted before the awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of this, sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. Please don't let them leave, Arcanine. Oh, come on. Hey, wait, this is all your fault. We should get out of here too, Paulina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, Kaisers, we should hurry. I don't think he's gonna let us go. Oh, we're gonna come back for him. Lena! What's going on? Or what are you gonna do about Growlithe? I mean, Arcanine. That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it's my duty to protect him with everything I have. Kaisers, we must. What must we do to quell his frenzy? Please tell us what we need. We need to make some bombs. Lena. Yep. Bombs? Irida, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Lena? They held my tongue for the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware of our leader, Irida. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use your Celestica flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you even to the farthest reaches of vast Yasui. We've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite food, and throw them from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Kaisers? Yep. Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some Growlithe's favorite foods with me, so I can thank him for when he uses his flames to help prepare Basculesian's favorite meal. Why, Iskin, no one... once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those bombs right away. Yes, let's get right to work. I still want to know if the dad died. They're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to quell the Lord Arcanine's frenzy. Yeah, we gotta heal first, and then we'll be ready. We're coming, Arcanine. Kaisers, please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it's clear this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while you're dodging, moves will slip right by you. Good luck. Oh, this platforming, though, is gonna suck so badly? Yeah, because he could just walk right through the fire. <laughs> All right, we'll try our best, buddy. Here we go, boys. Oh god, this platform sucks. Oh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh my god. He dashed right through that. Oh, okay. Some lights, sometimes it glows, sometimes it doesn't. He landed right on top of me, ouch. I dashed backwards into him, like a jackass. 
Oh, that's not good. Um. Oh god, okay, okay, get ready for it, get ready for it. What is happening? Oh, we gotta stop him before he nukes us. Okay, that's smart. Okay, good to know. That's pretty easy. I keep dashing into him like an idiot. Whew. Okay, okay, we can do this. Boom, boom, boom. Watch. Yep, there he goes. Boom, boom. Yep, there he goes. He's summoned those charges. No, he's not. Okay. What is happening? Why is he on fire now? We're stuck in here with him. He let the middle up on fire. Yeah, we can't go in there. He has to come to us. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, God. We can't do anything. We're stuck. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we're dead. <gasps> no! Are we dead? Now we are. We were stuck, dude. Damn. First time blacking out. Ah. Yeah, we could restart the battle. We'll... We'll do this the legitimate way and start from the very beginning. That's our first death, dude. Alright, watch. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four. The only reason I lost was because I was just being an idiot and dodging into his attacks. We could have tanked more than that. Watch, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, Earth Ring, let's go. All right, come on, big guy. Raging Fury, what is that move? All right. All right, high horsepower. Yeah, it's a one shot. Fire and rock, like I said. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's, oh God, yep, gotta move. Oh. We gotta figure out, we gotta just keep chucking at him because that middle is still on fire. Come to us, please. Yep. One, two, three, four. Whoa, okay. Because we can't walk in that. that we're we're going to get a lot of damage taken if we started walking in that. One, two, dodge. Yeah, we take damage. That thing lasts forever, though, dude. Jesus. Oh, God. No, stop, 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 stop. Please! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Okay. At least we don't take that much, but we got him. And there we go. Whew! That was close. Toughest one so far. If I wasn't such an idiot. <laughs> he looks... The red and gray looks so good on him. Oh my god. Oh look, that strange light has left Arcanine and is... Vanishing into the space-time rift? There you go, big guy. Yeah. Received the flame plate from Arcanine. Now we got fire. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? Um. 
So is he alive? What? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? The dad is alive! He's on the volcano! Oh, I get it. I think I get it. It's a spirit. Yeah. My little Growlithe. Ah, no, I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. Rawr. From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. See you later, big guy. That's awesome, dude. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of a previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. P -p Please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What oh, am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Iskin. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Aww. So he really was dead, and he was just... the ghost. I always love that when the ghost of, like, fallen family members show their faces. Kaisers, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Irida as well. We will. We'll keep a sharp eye on her. Now then, Iskin, I believe we'd best be off. Alright, get going, you two. Kaisers. I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Growlithe to be the new lord and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden. I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through the uh, training? Yeah, that's, uh... That's tough. The words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. That's not true, you made the bombs for us. Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs, something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Did I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? You literally swam all the way over here, what are you talking about? I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of Hisui. Grant me another battle someday, Kaisers. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of help to you and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. You got it. Looks like I've got Lena to thank for yet another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know, and hear more about her relationship with Ward and Iskin while I'm at it. Here's where we part for now, Kaisers. I need to get off this oven of an island. <laughs> Damn, dude, that was tough. It's a good thing they have, like, these little invisible boundaries, because even I couldn't have, um... Because I was worried you would, like, fall in and take damage. That's what my main concern was. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Legends Arceus. And what I'm going to do, actually, is that if you have not seen the last Nuzlocke video I did, I took out two gym leaders. So what I'm going to be doing is making two Legends of Arceus videos. So it's going to be this one, and then the next episode we're going to report back to, um... Kamado and see where we go from there. And also, we're going to see if we can hunt down some Gravelers, because I want to get the Black Algorite item that we have for Scyther. That way he can evolve into Cleaver, as well as seeing if we can find some more Lost Satchels so we can get our Dusclops into a Dusnor. And what I think I'm going to do, team-wise, honestly, I'm going to replace Toxicroak for Magmortar. The reason being is that we have the fighting type already Decidueye, and having two fighting types um, being Toxicroak is going to be a little bit too much, so we're going to get Magmar on the team and train him to be a mighty Magmortar in the next episode. 
But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be the first to know. Thanks again so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next episode. Peace!